Now let's see how depth, meaning tidal volume versus rate of breathing affects the alveolar ventilation. Suppose they give you two patients. The first one, patient A has a tidal volume of 600 mils and his respiratory rate is 10 per minute. The second person, patient B has the tidal volume of 300 but the respiratory rate is 20 per minute. Six hundred times ten equals six thousand, and uh, three hundred times twenty also equals six thousand mils per minute. They can ask which patient has the greater alveolar ventilation. So let's calculate it using our formula: VA equals VT minus VD times F, where VA is alveolar ventilation, VT is tidal volume, VD is anatomic dead space, F is respiratory frequency or respiratory rate. The patient A has the tidal volume of 600 mils. So 600 mils minus 150 mils, which is the dead space times respiratory rate which is 10 per minute we get 4500 mils per minute this is the alveolar ventilation of patient a the second patient patient b has the tidal volume of 300 mils so 300 mils minus 150 which is the dead space again then times the respiratory rate which is 20 per minute we get 3000 mils per minute this is the alveolar ventilation of patient b the total ventilation in both patients is equal 6000 mils per minute the tidal volume in patient a is more than in patient b this is because patient A is breathing deeply at 600 mils and patient B has rapid shallow breathing at 300 mils. Both use 150 mils to the dead space which does not participate in gas exchange in alveoli. Therefore, alveolar ventilation in patient A will be more than in patient B. 450 mils to 150 mils respectively. The respiratory rate is more in patient B. This concludes that the deeper a person breathes, the more will be alveolar ventilation. As faster a person breathes, the shallower the breath will be. Try yourself, it is not possible to breathe rapidly and deep at the same time. The breath will be shallow if you breathe rapidly. Shallow breathing means that in every breath the main air will go to an atomic dead space and less air participates in alveolar gas exchange. In a patient B, 150 mL of air stays in a dead space and only the remaining 150 mL participates in gas exchange in alveoli. This means that patient B is hypoventilating. Let's talk about two important terms you should not confuse. Hyporespiration and hypoventilation. Hyporespiration is decreased respiratory rate being less than 10 breaths per minute. Suppose the respiratory rate of patient A is 8 and tidal volume is 800. And the respiratory rate of patient B is 30 and tidal volume is 250 mils. What do you think? Which one is considered to have hyporespiration and which one is hypoventilating? In spite of decreased respiratory rate, the tidal volume of patient A is large. So if you calculate his alveolar ventilation, it will be 5200 mils per minute. He is considered to have hyporespiration because his respiratory rate is less than 10 per minute. However, his alveolar ventilation is normal. The opposite is true for patient B. His alveolar ventilation will be 3000 mL per minute. 
in spite of increased respiratory rate, he is hypoventilating when compared with patient A. I hope now you are clear about hypoventilation and hyporespiration. They are not the same.